Hey, and welcome back to Brian's Hobbies. In this video, we're continuing with the Volkswagen build. Now that we've built a sorting system so that I can keep track of everything, we now need to put everything in its place. I took a little time and studied the instructions. I found that all the parts are numbered and they more or less go together in order, such as part one glues into part two, part three glues to part one and two, that sort of thing. So I've decided to sort them by function and size. I've discovered the kit comes in two variations in the same box. It can be built in both left hand or in right hand drive. In the instructions, those are denoted as A and B. A for left hand, B for right hand. Here we have the seats, bonnet, and the hood. Looks like we've got the frame here, the engine and transmission. I see here the floor pan and some other suspension and engine parts. A closer look at some of the chrome parts. I see we have the bumpers, the, the wheels with hubcaps and several pieces of trim. One thing I've noticed is that the parts are not in order on the sprue. I've seen part 12 on one, part 13, 14 on the other, and then back to, and then back to 15. Since the assembly is in order by part number, I'm trying to sort the parts by the order in which they're assembled. So I'm trying to keep all the engine parts and suspension parts together. So hopefully when it comes time to put everything together, I can find it. After a minute or two of trying to be precise with the cuts on the big part, I figured out as long as you're getting close but not actually cutting into the part, you're good to go and you can clean it up later. So we're going with option B. Here, we're going to build this car in right-hand drive, so I'm cutting out the right-hand dashboard. Some of the tiniest parts on here, I'm trying to leave a good chunk of the sprue attached to those so that we can find them again. One thing to be careful of is to make sure that you're not cutting into a part. I've quickly found it's best to leave a bit of the sprue behind and then you can clean it up in more detail later. I recognize most of the parts, but honestly, I don't know what they're called. But some of these I have never seen before and don't know what they are.
here I almost cut the hose off the air cleaner and still wasn't sure I hadn't messed it up. So I was anxious to try out the glue and picked out the first two parts just to see how it works. I bought the glue at the same time I bought the model. It's Mr. Cement Deluxe and it seems pretty thin so I thought I'd try a technique I'd seen some of the other model makers use when they put the pieces together and then let the glue flow into the seam. It seems to work, the parts were bonded in about three seconds. There's no way someone could just assemble one of these without using the directions. So we'll be referencing these frequently. I thought it might be easier to remove some of these smaller parts with an X-Acto blade, but quickly realized the amount of force needed to push through the plastic could break the part. The little sprue cutters I bought have a flat side and do a much better job. Having never built a model before, I thought it might be a good idea to try and dry fit most of the parts together before gluing them, just to make sure I've got the fit right and it's in the right place. Even though the X-Acto knife wasn't ideal for removing the parts from the sprue, it's perfect for cleaning them up after the fact. Very quickly, I'm noticing that the parts themselves are a little rough going together. I can see the parts have indicator marks showing where one part glues to the next one, but some of these aren't lining up just right on these tiny parts. I'm not sure how that's going to work once we actually start gluing everything up, but we'll see. Slowly the parts are starting to make some more sense and I can actually see an engine laying there waiting to be assembled instead of just a bunch of random pieces of plastic. Here I'm gluing the two halves of the block and transmission together and I'm having an issue with the parts not fitting exactly so I need to clamp it and we'll see how good the glue is.
I'm noticing that some of the parts have an extra little bit of plastic attached to them that's not attached to anything else. I had to check the instructions to see that those little bits are supposed to be removed. Thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far, please consider subscribing. Also, if you've not seen the first video in the series, you can check it out here, or you can follow the link to the next video. Thank you very much.